Hey guys, how's it going? Christopher back here with another video. This time is birthday pickups. Um, none of this stuff I bought. It was all sent to me. It was all given to me. So I'm super, super stoked to show you guys stuff I got for my birthday. Also, it's been a month since I made a video. Um, I do this sometimes. I'm sorry. I, I go away <laughs> without saying anything to anybody and uh, show up out of the blue without warning people. I show up because I, I leave and, and center myself and uh, find myself again. Find myself to be a happy Chris and uh, happy to see you guys. So stoked that I'm making another video. So I hope you guys enjoy the stuff I'm going to show you. Physical items that I have acquired on my birthday. Okay, let's go. Uh, so first off is this t-shirt. A uh, co-worker of mine, my friend Andrew, got me this shirt. He went to Calgary Expo, and he knew, you know, I wasn't sore about it or nothing. Maybe a little bit. So he's like, I'm going to get you something for your birthday. And I'm like, you don't have to get me anything. Never get me anything. You don't have to, right? Story of my life, which you guys will soon find out. Uh, so he got me this really cool shirt. He knows I love the Guardians, and I love this shirt. I've been wearing it for two days straight. No B.O., yeah, because I, anyway, got the shirt. Also, this shirt was in something. And instead of a box, you know, he got me this really cool lunchbox. Um, yeah, I like this steel style lunchbox. I always wanted one as a kid. Um, I have a South Park one. Um, I found a Valley Village, but now I got a Spider-Man one. So I hope uh, this doesn't set something off and I start collecting lunchboxes because I don't have room. I don't have room for lunch boxes, but I love this thing. It, this is a really nice display piece. It's nice, pretty. It's pretty. So anyway, got that. You got this. So it's pretty cool. Um, another coworker, my friend Nate. He gave me twenty five dollars of PSN points. Like, why? Because he's a good guy, and he got me a VHS tape. I love this because. It has one of my favorite actors in of all time. I'm sure he's typecasted, but hey, it's Bruce Campbell in the original Evil Dead on VHS. The way it's meant to be watched. So awesome. So awesome. I'm so stoked for this. So Nate got me that, and I'm really, really in his debt. Because I love it. I love it so much. So that's it. I'm just kidding. No, my wife got me a bunch of stuff, and just... If anybody knows me, it's her. So she got me some really cool stuff that I, I love. Um, so first off, we I'm going to start off with some uh, the Super Sentai stuff she got me. She got me. She got me Denji Sentai Mega Ranger on DVD, the entire series. I haven't opened it yet. I I'm still behind on some of them. They're coming out. Shout Shout Factory is just pushing them out real quick. So I'm really excited to start this soon. Um, it's Super Sentai's version, well, they're the original, of Power Rangers in space. And instead of being in space, they're inside like a video game, I'm pretty sure, or inside a computer. But I haven't seen this before. I hear it's one of the best acted. So I'm, I'm really, really excited to start watching this. So yeah. Mega Ranger, awesome. Next up, she got me a SH Figure Arts figure that I did not have. I love the SH Figure Arts sign. Like, SH Figure Arts is like my favorite toy line. As you can probably see over there. There's a bunch of them. I like them. I like them a lot. I like them in and around my mouth. I, no, that's not it. Uh, but I like them. So this one's from Jetman and it's Black Condor. Um, you guys might think it looks a little like you're like, hey, I think I've seen that design before. Well, if you guys played Persona, I think it's Persona 5. Yeah, Persona 5 has it. You will notice a lot of similarities in Jetman with their Featherman because they pretty much stole the design. But in a good way, they're fans. So, right? So Jetman. So you guys would be like, hey, I've seen Featherman. Next, video games. Excuse me. One, I'm, I, I started one. The other one will have to wait for a little bit. 
because I'm addicted to this one. Well, actually, no, I'll save that one to last. First up, we got Dragon Quest Builders on the PS4. Haven't opened it yet, haven't even tried it. So I, I know I'm gonna like it because it's Dragon Quest. And I hear it's kind of like Minecraft, which I've never got into, but it should be fun. Should be fun anyhow. And yeah, she also, on top of this, pre-ordered me Dragon Quest 11, I think it's 11, yeah. So I got that coming to me in June. And on top of that, she surprised me with this. It's a game, I, uh, as soon as I seen it, I knew I was gonna love it because I played the first one. And it's, the graphics are just perfect. Nino Kuni 2. It's a little bit different than the first one in, in gameplay, gameplay wise, I guess. Uh, it's like full action, like you get to run around, like you can still run around in the last one. What am I trying to say? Anyway, it's better. It's better, I think. I'm loving this. It's currently, like, it's not in here right now. Oh. There's a code there. Uh, it's currently in my PS4. So I'm, I'm playing it. I'm three, three hours in, around like level 14-ish. And I'm loving it. It's so good. So flipping good. But, yeah. Something really quick. Just wanted to show you guys the stuff I got. And I don't know if you remember this guy. I talk to him every day. His name's Chad Bailey. He He's a legend in the uh, old school retro video game community here on YouTube. He's, he's an absolute peach. He's sending me something. And he told me, he's like, it's for your birthday and Christmas. And I'm like, you don't have to send me anything. Um... He's making a big, making a big deal about that I sent him a game, and anyway, he's sending me a box of stuff, and it's probably gonna make me cry. That's what he said. So, yeah, there's gonna be that to look forward to soon, and then after that, there's gonna be a game room tour. I'm gonna have to show you my room. You've seen some of it, but you haven't seen all of it. I just show you one area all the time. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it all. But if you just follow me on YouTube, you just see some stuff over here and some stuff over here. But you haven't seen what's over here or what's over there. Nope, you didn't. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now and uh, I'm going to let you guys go on with your day. Um, I'm not good at editing, but I'm just going to show some people. Okay, watch Humble Bumble. He's a good guy. He's a good friend of mine. Watch Dino Knows Games, Knows Video Games because he knows them. Watch Console Kev, because you have to, because I told you to. It's like, if you if you ever watch gameplays on, on like, playthroughs on, on video games on YouTube, you're like, ugh, this guy knows everything, doesn't he? No, this guy, if you're playing a game with a friend, and you're watching him play, it's like that, right? So it's fun. And it's informative, and he cuts the crap. It's not like he'll go to the boss and then die and have to start all over again. He will make sure you don't have to wait that long stretch. You're right at the boss again. Ready. Ready. Right? So, yeah. Those three guys for now. One more. Retro collectors. Retro lectors. Those guys. They'll be in the description down below. And you can... Because I don't edit stuff here. I could have stuff like this but i don't know how to do that so i'm not going to <laughs> i'm gonna let you guys go now have a great day i'm back bye see ya